Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, nature and wildlife photographer based in Northern California. And today I want to talk about a simple, easy setting on the Nikon Z8 that allows you to switch very quickly between bird and animal subject detection. So let's get into it. This past week, I was out photographing wildlife in just torrential downpour. I was getting completely soaked. I actually wanted to do a video about the experience, and I just started filming, and it was a nightmare. But um, I was out there in that situation. That's a perfect example where, like, you don't want to be fiddling around in menus, even the eye menu option. You want to just hit a button, switch detections. So I was photographing egrets and um, swallows. I was testing out the Z8's autofocus capabilities on, on barn swallows and tree swallows, which it did actually super great. And swallows are very erratic, so it was awesome to, uh, to test it out. I found some turns. Anyway, the list goes on. It was an awesome experience. But then I didn't expect, but I came across some American river otters. And not only river otters, but river otters that were feeding on crayfish at the bottom of a pool. And I mean, this is like freaking awesome. And I just started to take pictures, but I noticed I wasn't getting focus. I was having to switch to single point. And then I realized, of course, the reason why is because I was in bird subject detection. And this is gonna come up. I mean, we're gonna have situations where we're out in the field and bird and we wanna switch to animal and we need to do it quickly. Now I will say one point is that you could just set it to auto all the time. There is an auto detection option. So your camera could just detect on its own if you're photographing a human subject or an airplane or a bird or a river otter. But it's a little slower. It's definitely not as accurate or as fast as uh, functional in the field as determining and telling your camera exactly what subjects you're photographing. So because of that, we want the top performance out of our gear. I think it does make sense to use the dedicated subject modes. So anyway, the way I've configured it is a single button. What I do is I push the joystick and I use this AF function recall option. Now I wanna walk you through how to set that up. It's super easy and I think everyone should do it. It may not be the same button as I choose. You may wanna use another customizable button, but whatever you do choose, it allows you to switch quickly between bird and subject and speeds up the experience in the field substantially and allows you to get and execute the shots that you wanna execute. So here's what you do. All right, so you're looking at the back of my camera here and I've got the 40 um, f2 uh, lens on here just so I can demonstrate what's going on so first I just want to show you you know what the issue is you see up here I'm in bird right and if I go and use autofocus on this little stuffed animal of my son's I can't lock autofocus now I have dual back button focus set up so I can just switch to a single point and lock onto the eye or take a photo of the eye like that and you know execute the image but if I want to use subject detection, it's not seeing a subject. So what I want to do is I want to be able to switch. Now you see this joystick? What I do is I just program that to push in and now it's switched to animal. It's toggling back and forth. All my other settings are exactly the same. I'm just switching back and forth between animal and bird. You can see that changing right here, right? Animal, bird, animal, bird, okay? So now I'm an animal and it's detecting the eye and focus is working. Okay, so the way you can configure this is actually really straightforward. You go to menu and you go to controls, okay? And then you go to custom control shooting and you can go to, in my case, I'm using the joystick, right? So you go to the joystick and click joystick. And the way I have it configured is you go down to this recall shooting functions. Now there are two options for recalling shooting functions. You can do recall shooting functions or you can do hold. If you do just this option, you're going to have to hold down the button that you select in order to switch subjects. So imagine in this case you're, you're holding down a button to be on animals and then it'll go back to birds or whatever you set as default. Instead, if you do this hold button option, it'll just switch and be in that mode until you push the button again and then it'll switch back. So what I do is I set the autofocus at default to whatever I need it to be more common. It's often birds for me. So right now it's in birds. But then what I do is I go back to that menu and I toggle this to recall shooting functions hold. Now the only thing I switch is the subject detection option. 
So everything else is exactly the same. Now you could, for whatever reason, if you wanted to switch other stuff, um, for, for example, animals, you might want a slower shutter speed um, than you do need for birds. So you might switch that as well. But in my case, I just like one button, they'll only switch this option. So in, it, what you would do is you'd click that, and then if you toggle to the right on the, on the D-pad, you can select what you want it to switch to. So because I'm defaulting in birds, that's my standard, I switch it to animal, and that's the only thing it would change. Now, if you wanted, for example, for whatever reason, if you didn't trust the, the subject detection, you could also have it switch off. All I wanted to show you today, it's a pretty simple and easy way to switch back and forth between the two different modes and make it a lot faster in the field if you need to switch between animals and birds. Hope that's helpful. Take care and see you next time. Bye.